Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's interesting because what's driving our heat is what's driving Harold yeah. uh, on shore here. So let's show you how this is all kind of uh, tangled up together, if you will. Atmosphere is very fluid. Uh, yeah, it, we got a little break from the heat today, but we uh, look at live Doppler 13 radar. You can see southern Texas getting uh, hit. Uh, with Harold now, not uncommon. We're seeing the tornado warnings. That happens quite frequently when these tropical systems uh, make landfall, and that's one. We've got Franklin, uh, and we also have Gert. So the tropics are getting active. It's being driven, as I mentioned, by the hot dome that's over the central U.S. here, impacting central Indiana. As you can see, everything goes up and over this hot dome. And we may eventually get a few clusters of thunderstorms between now and the start of the weekend. But by and large, you can see everything wrapping around that high. Now, I mentioned that we're getting a little break today. It's not as bad as it was at this time yesterday when our heat index in Indy was about 100. Uh, look what's happening. Kokomo, Muncie, and Richmond. It feels better than 24 hours ago. But once you get over into Greencastle and Bloomington and Bedford over toward Terre Haute Sullivan, that's where the most extreme numbers locally will be today. Now that does not mean we're not going to have an uncomfortable day around the metro area. We're still going to have a heat index that's making it in to the mid 90s. As we look at the heat stress forecast, once you get into these darker shades, that's where you're going to have to really limit practice time and certainly increase your breaks as we go into the afternoon. Uh, temperatures flirting with 90 once again. We actually hit 93. Yesterday was our hottest day of the year so far. I'm not saying a whole lot. Uh, don't forget, Indians open up a new home stand against the Iowa Cubs tonight. It's dollar menu night. First pitch at 7.05. Find the shade if you can, but an east wind is certainly our friend right now. Now for tomorrow, we're all back in the same boat for the most part. 100 to 105 on the peak heat index. Got to show you Thursday because this will be the most extreme heat day that we will have this week, and then it will gradually break down a bit as we go into Friday. Weekend still looks amazing as we will have sunshine, temperatures in the 80s, and a dropping muggy meter.